My, my growing up wasn't that um, rosy. Hello guys, meet Blessing Sunday, a young girl that moved from being a hawker that hawks granite on the streets of Newi to becoming a tech girl. Growing up for Blessing was a very difficult one, especially because their dad abandoned them when her mom couldn't bet a male child. Their dad had to abandon them and marry another wife and since then they kept on struggling with life. But Blessing was so determined to make it. My mom has a female, all true. We are six in number. We are all girls. So due to that, now you know, in Igbo now, when you don't have a male child, it's somehow always tough. So my dad had to take a second wife. And since then, he abandoned us. Even my school, you know, all, like everything. See, since when I was little up to now, like my dad has now even spend a time in, in maybe providing for us and every other thing. It has been my mom. My name is Blessed Sunday. I am in Newi Tech Faculty in Newi here, Anambra State. I'm into web development. Blessed Sunday is a graduate of Ebony State University. After she graduated, she didn't have the money to do her clearance and go for her NYSC. So she had to come down to Newi to hustle for money. And when in Newi, she heard about tech and searched for a tech hub where she would acquire that tech skill and also further her academic pursuit to prove to people that say that school is scam wrong, to prove to them that school is not scam. After I graduated last year, so I didn't have um, money for clearance. To do my clearance so that I can go for youth service. So I decided to come down to Navy here to know if I can also and uh, do my clearance. So along the line now, because of uh, this thing everywhere that school is a scam, because of the unemployment in Nigeria, so I decided to go for something like this that will help me in my pursuit, in my academic pursuit. I sell granite, like I'm a granite hawk, I hawk granite. Since I came down here, that is what I've been doing. Like hawking granite to feed for, my, feed for myself and as well. Even this thing that I'm doing, like this uh, web development that I'm learning in the Newi Tech faculty. It's through that uh, my granite business that I use in sponsoring myself. I graduated from Melbourne State University. Study the business management. My my growing up wasn't that um, rosy because I came from a, a dysfunctional home. So we um, <laughs> don't just know how to explain it, yeah, but my growing up was really tough. And based on the background I came from, like, it wasn't really a good story. It wasn't really a good story because my mom. Let me say, um, I'm the second child of my mom. So my mom has a female, all true. We are six in number. We are all girls. So due to that, now you know, in Igbo land, when you don't have a male child, it's somehow always tough. So my dad had to take a second wife. And since then, he abandoned us. Even my school, you know, all, like everything. See? Since when I was little up to now, like my dad has now even spent a time in, in maybe providing for us and every other thing. It has been my mom all along. So I grew up to know that my mom, my mom is the only one I have. So I had to join her in the business that she's doing, like working of granite. That was why I ventured into granite business. My advice to fellow girls out there is that you should not give up. Like, no matter the background they come from, you should not allow your background to be a barrier. You should not allow your background to stop you from achieving or going for what you want to go for. So that you should try and build up yourself. Go for anything, like hustle, and try to be that who they want to be, that they should have what they should have a target and where they are going to. Because 
even though I grew up from a poor, very poor background and a very dysfunctional one, yet I, I set up go for myself that this is what I want to be because this is where I want to be like. That thing that other people could not achieve in my farm that I want to let me be the first hand. So God be the glory. Even for my should I say for my father's as I'm the first graduate to come from there. So I just advise my advice to them is that they should not allow their background to stop them from being whom they want to be. Should go out there, like make a name for themselves, build a career for themselves. So you think that tech will help you get to the next level in your life. You think so? Yes, yes, because I see it as something that will pave way for my academic pursuit because I told myself that I want to go far when it comes to academic, that I want to pursue my academic to any level. So I, I just thought that tech will be, will be a ladder, like to... A stepping stone. Yeah, to be a stepping stone. So where I'm heading to when it comes to academic... Um, why like academic wise as it has been going well like it has really opened my mind to other things that i don't even know about because before now i'm just a i was just a computer illiterate. novice like, illiterate yeah, novice i don't know anything about computer but since i came here like even the joy of coming here every day like i always have that joy to come here every being day. in that community yes. of tech enthusiasts young people yes. that want to you know make us something for their lives using tech yes yes so wow. it has really even with this few period i've really learned a lot like even with the environment and all that it's really encouraging me to go further into it